And the presidential candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party, Rabi Yukokwanzo, says political leaders are making a mistake by endorsing candidates ahead of the elections. Kwakwanzo made the statement when he visited Godwin Obasiki, the governor of Edo State, at the government house in Benin. In the past few days, ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo and Edwin Clark, Ijo national leader and convener of PANDEF, have endorsed the presidential bid of Peter Obi, the standard bearer of the Labour Party. Commenting on the development, Kwakwansu said the endorsements were based on religious and ethnic sentiments. The endorsements have elicited reactions from the major political parties with the All, Pro All Progressives Congress describing it as worthless, while the People's Democratic Party has said it does not reflect the opinion of Nigerians. Well, Kwakwansu's statement has generated reactions from Nigerians and joining me on the news via telephone to speak more on this is a darling thing, Agwamwa, political affairs analyst. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, if you can hear me, the highly um, anticipated 2023 general elections is fast approaching and is about 51 days away. Now, how would you rate the atmosphere and uh, would you say the country's electoral body, INEC, is fully prepared for the elections? Yeah, thank you, Mary. As it is now, the political landscape is taking shape. You can see that... Uh, a clear winner is emerging. Things are beginning to take shape now. We are beginning to see those who are sitting on the fence trying to take a position. And that is why you are seeing this endorsement for OB. And it is becoming a, a lot of a, uncomfortable situation for the other three contenders. So the political landscape... In fact, it has never been like this before. We are somebody they claim to be a greenhorn. is now commanding so much uh, crowd and all that. As for INEC, they need to wake up. Uh, what we are hearing and what we are seeing, especially in collection of PVC, is not good at all. It's not good. There is no reason why you should have Several millions of PVC uncollected. Whereas INEC has been given a lot of money to do this work. Why can't they use the addresses of the owners of those PVC and send it to them? Call them on phone. They should do something. They should not just say people are not coming. In, in other times, they used to deliver this PVC to them. So that excuse that uh, people are not coming. Those who went there, you can hear their stories. So many delays, so many disappointments and all that. So I need you to need to wake up. If they really want to conduct a credible election, not minding what uh, some people are doing to sack the INEC chairman for frivolous reasons. I don't know why they should do that. Thank God the cop the cops have woken up and they are not living up to their billing. They no longer take frivolous uh, uh, court uh, cases against highly placed officials. What they did with the MFLA and what they did with Annex Chairman is commendable. So those who are trying to truncate this uh, election, they are wasting their time. That is why I feel about it. Well, um, in the build-up to the elections, the former president, Olusha Gwabasanjo, has endorsed, uh, openly endorsed the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, and this has been tagged a big mistake by Rabi Kwakwansu, as well as other parties. Now, is endorsing a preferred candidate out of the ordinary or out of place in Nigeria? You see, I don't see why so... Your, your passenger investment of OB is generating so much uh, reaction. Even though I'm not a fan of a passenger, but he has a right to choose uh, any person you want. By the way, these northern leaders, I don't know what they are thinking. Are they saying that a uh, passenger should have endorsed Atiku to replace uh, Shagari or endorsed uh, Kwakwansu to replace Shagari? I don't understand. Where was Kwakwansu? When in 1979, Obasanjo chose Sagari against his kinsman, Awolowo. We also what played out. Awolowo won that election clearly. But Obasanjo insisted that it must be a Sagari. Where was the Kwakwansu 
You know, messenger choose uh, an uh, a yaradua against other contenders. And where was the Papa? And so when the same messenger choose Shagai, I mean uh, Buari in 2015. So I don't understand. It shows that the northern leaders they are they have equity and justice is, uh, is not in their dictionary. If you allow the north, they wouldn't want anybody from here to rule Nigeria. That is the impression is creating. Mm. I don't sympathize with him. Oh, uh, and is not a good politician. I remember when there was this uh, merger. You know, it was in the air between uh, his party and that of Obis uh, LP. Uh, but the Papa so was feeling arrogant. He said to be his junior. How can he team up with him and become his deputy? Today, he would have been sharing the land like it would be if he had taken that offer. Um, so, I don't know whether he's speaking from a frustrated man or he's speaking from somebody I'm, who truly really loves Nigeria. I'm afraid that's how much we can take on for news. Well, Darlington Agomwa, uh, Political Affairs Analyst, thank you very much for your time and your contribution.